The first time you sign into Google AdWords, you may see a screen like this, or you may see a screen that says Start Guided Setup. If you click Skip Guided Setup, it'll bring you to this screen. So I'm going to go ahead and create my first campaign by clicking on the Create Your First Campaign button here. Now here is all of our options. We can change these later on. This is just for a quick setup, so I'm not going to make these uh, very good. So I'm going to leave the campaign name as campaign number one. And I'm going to click on the type drop down. We'll go through all of these options in a later video. But for right now, I'm going to click search network only. And I'm going to go over here to the right and select all features. Now devices, that's tablets, computers, and mobile. So by default, all of them are selected, so we're going to leave that one alone for now. Locations, I'm just going to select the United States. And again, we'll go through the locations in a later video. We'll also go through these advanced location options in a later video as well. Languages, I'm going to leave as English, but as you can see, you can edit that. Bid strategy. I'm going to go through these again in a later video, but for right now, I'm going to select manually set my bids for clicks. Now, the default bid, we don't know that yet because we haven't entered any keywords, so I'm just going to set it as 10 cents. Now, your budget. Most of my clients have a monthly budget, so you need to think about your monthly budget, and then to get your daily budget, just divide that by 30. So I'm going to go with a monthly budget of about $900. So divided by 30, that's going to be about $30 a day. Delivery methods, we're going to go through these again in a later video. But for right now, I would just leave it at standard. Add extensions, again, I'm going to explain these later. This is just for a quick setup. And the advanced settings, the schedule, the start date, and end date. If you want a specific end date, if you only want to run your ads for one week or two weeks or, or a month, make sure you select your end date. Ad scheduling, ad delivery, dynamic search ads, and the campaign URL options we're going to go through again later, so leave those blank for now. And select Save and Continue. Now for our ad group. This is our first ad group, so I'm going to leave it named ad group number one. And we're going to create our very first text ad. Again, this campaign is just for a quick setup, so it's likely I'm going to delete it later. But I'll go through it now really quick anyways. So my website, I'm just going to use the website kidneydiet.info. Now I know I'm going backwards a little bit here. The final URL is where people are directed when they click on your ad. So I want people to go to kidneydiet.info. So I'm going to type that in here. The display URL is just for vanity purposes only. This is going to be shown right here where this green example.com is. This does not necessarily have to be a legitimate URL on your website. So the beginning has to be the same. So kidney diet. Dot info has to be correct. And then we forward slash to something else that has to do with the ad or some, some other keyword that we want people to click on. So I'm going to do, I'm going to say best foods because I want this ad to be about the best kidney diet foods. So now we can write our headline. best kidney diet foods. And again, you'll see you'll see that there's a counter over here. We want to make sure that we don't go over that counter or over over this character count. If we do, we're going to get an alert. See, we're too many characters over, so we want to shorten it a little bit. Okay. Now description line 1 again, there is a counter. It can only be 35 characters long. And the description line two is the same. So description line one, we're just going to think of 
something that our readers or our, the people that are searching for our ad are going to want to click on. So I'm going to put in Find out what the best foods for kidney health are. Call us now. You'll notice I've capitalized each word of the ad. Sometimes this makes the ad perform better and sometimes it doesn't. That's just something that you'll have to test. Now we want the best kidney diet foods. You notice I said it in the headline and I also said it in the description, best foods for kidney health. If somebody types in what are the best foods for kidney health, they're going to see my ad and they're going to see those keywords in my ad three times. And again, here at the display URL. So they're going to be more likely to click on my ad. So you want to make sure that your ad, that your headline is catchy and you want to make sure that your description lines one and two are very descriptive and they make your reader want to click on your ad. Also the display URL, it's, it's best practices to put the keyword after the forward slash again in the display URL. So you have it in the headline, in the ad, and in the display URL. But you want the ad to make sense. You don't want to just splash the keyword everywhere and and not not have it read well. You want to make sure that the ad reads well and makes people want to click on it. And you can see a preview of your ad over here to the right hand side. This is what it looks like. This is what it's going to look like if it's on the side of the page, the right hand side of the page. And this is what it's going to look like if it's on the top of the page. Okay. Now keywords. As you can see, Google has suggested some keywords over here based on the website URL and based on the ad that we just typed in. Again, this campaign is just for a quick setup, so I'm not going to really get into keywords right now, but I'll explain keywords in a later video. But the keyword that I wanted to target was best kidney diet food, so I'm going to type that in. And I'm going to leave that for now. It's okay to only have one keyword per ad group. It says to start with 10 to 20, but if you only have one, then that's fine. If you want to add any keywords from this menu over here, you can simply just click on the Add button and that brings them over. Our default bid again, since we don't know, we're just going to leave it at 10 cents. And then we're going to save and continue to billing. So right now we see this red line, our account is not active. In order to make our account active, we need to enter our billing information. So select your country, I'm in the United States, hit continue. And now we're going to enter in our billing information. Enter your name and address, primary contact, how you're going to pay for your ads, whether you want it to come out of a bank account or a credit card and then agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've entered and saved your billing information, you'll be brought back to the main AdWords platform and then you're done. Your first campaign is up and running. In the next video, I'll go through more detail about setting up a campaign, setting up ad groups, and all the different settings within each. So I'll see you in the next video.